Peters. Hey. I am working on getting everything plugged in. Oh my and god. Look at this. This is crazy. Well, did you see that? And we have one here. outlet in this room. Two. Oh, sorry. Two. Two. So, this shelf and that shelf and anything <laughs> on my desk is getting plugged in down there. <laughs> I'm going to have to add some dedicated lines in here just, just to light up your... Yeah, I would say so. Something about uh, Christmas vacation that uh, <laughs> reminds me... Yeah. So I'm trying to keep cords semi like organized. Uh huh. Good luck with that. So yeah, something is gonna have to go here to kind of hide all this. Mm. All right. So we're getting things done today. Everybody's kind of feeling okay today. Where's the twist ties? I don't know. Can you maybe try and find one for me? I need a thick one. There you go. And I gotta hold this. And so I gotta can... hold this. <laughs> See, you could have said, we'll talk to you later, but no. You have to do that. <laughs> Say goodbye. And this one broke. Oh, my life's so hard. Life is hard. Okay, so we're starting to get things together here. Here's mom's bed. Uh, it's too tall right now. Uh, it's really dirty because of the, tr the uh, movers. <sighs> so we have to cut the legs down and so she can get into it. But the room is coming along. We're starting to get her furniture into the room. And we've got... Brie ran off. Oh yeah, I told her, don't deny it, you're going to be in it. <laughs> so, working on cabinets now, they're putting down, uh, this is Bree, this is Mike's wife. Hello. And uh, they've been extremely helpful. Now they're uh, setting up this really, really ugly cabinet that we have here. <laughs> so, I don't know why Val selects it. Looks like it was probably put in in the 20s. Has that 1920s. Board look to it, but uh, yeah, and then we can put our linen in here. And on this side over here, we're probably going to end up putting a uh, uh, washer dry, uh, dryer so we don't have to go down two sto stories from here. <sighs> okay, so this is my project for the day. It should be an easy one, but I tend to say that just before all hell breaks loose, I should say. But I have to cut this pipe out and um, got to try and make it as straight line as possible. I wish I had um, um, a uh, decent uh, camera stand because I can't find our camera stands. It's in a bag, in the barn, in the back, in the bag, in the barn. And um, I haven't found it yet. I do have this little tiny one I can set up. but. There's not a lot of places to set it up on. And we'll probably pull this little table out. See? So, let you guys know, this is my camera stand that I have right now. So, I'll put this, move this out of the way so you see what I'm doing. Uh, I need to draw some lines, cut that pipe out, and uh, put the new one in. I've got the new one sitting out here. All right, so I want to draw a line. I, I can try to do a straight line. I've got a piece of uh, the old wallpaper that we've been using. It's uh, got a straight edge on it. Got to figure out which one is that. And I do want to cut below this um, joint. I've been calling it a knuckle. I'm probably wrong. And I'm hoping this will leave a decent mark all the way around.
One hour later. Finally. Okay, so I finally got that cut out, but I discovered more crack. I'm not sure how far down that goes. I'm going to have to look. All right, so before I call it a day, I want to uh, put together some more JB Weld. And I am going to cover as far down as I go, up to the point where I know it's cracked. Just all the way down. And tomorrow I'll have to cut this off here. Right now I have a cat, top and bottom. Um, I already tried to tell it it's not super tight, so it does get there. So I put this on, and uh, that'll be it for me today. No, I have a bathrobe on. Boy, does she want to be in our in our vlog? Is that what this is? Kevin wants you to be in the vlog since we're videoing and you talking. And you won't stop talking. You're already in it because you keep talking. <laughs> Howdy ho, neighbors! Hey. I'm on the phone with Lori. <laughs> And she's in shock because I just was outside with Ivy and I came in and put a bathrobe on because it's chilly out there. Uh, 12 degrees. It's 12 degrees outside. And it's almost 70 where she's at. Yes, it's almost 70 where Lori's at. She's in shorts and a tank top. Uh huh. So we got a lot done today. Um, in here, I got that shelf all lit up. And that shelf all lit up. I still got to decorate and um, hide the cords. I still got to do these shelves. Uh, I got lots of laundry going or done today. I still got to get one more load, switch one more load over for the night. My bed is uh, put up, and the plan was to sleep up there tonight, but Kevin didn't put a TV up for me. Aww. So I don't get to watch TV while I'm putting all my clothes and stuff away. Hmm. What are you looking at? Oh, no. Although I do have my little uh, thing that you bought me that I could put my uh, DVDs in. or. She just... Does she, what is she saying? Tablet. Tablet. She said my tablet. But it's not a tablet. What is it? I don't know. A tablet. It's a tablet sort. DVD player thingy. It's a cheap tablet DVD player. Cheap tablet DVD player. But anyway, um, or I could sleep down here one more night. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> she saw something. I know. She got caught. She got locked into the West Wing earlier. Nice and cold, was it? Hi! Yes, the West Wing is extremely cold. I think it's colder in the West Wing than it is outside. <laughs> yes, it is. We had to pull it, a lot of stuff out of our, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, pantry? Because the, <laughs> the pantry is colder than the refrigerator. We and had it, soda in the pantry, and it was called a slushy at that it, point. It was frozen. It was frozen. So, yes. I have to get in there and take some stuff off the shelf behind the freezer. The yeah. deep freeze. So, and we have to go shopping <laughs> and get food before this storm hits. Mm. So, we still have to do that list. Okay. Okay. All right. Just, just you know. Okay. Making sure you know that. Okay. So. Okay. So.
to wrap up the whole day. My bathroom stinks. Aww. Got a big hole in my bathroom. Uh -huh. um, toilet still works. Toilet still works, thank goodness, because we buy a house with three bathrooms and we don't have any. Hmm. Right now we have one, so that's a good thing. Uh, my cat's a little... I, I wonder if she found catnip or something. She's well, acting very, no like, wild. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, that's about it. Um, wrap things up. Bathroom stinks. Lights are working on two shelves. Bed is up. Um, I think that's about it, right? I think so. I think so. All right, guys. So, this is what she does all night long. <laughs> Hugs. Oh, we got some sad news today, and um, it's something that affects the whole community. Lee has gotten bad news. Hold on a second, Lori. Let me just read it to you guys. Okay, this is a post from Lee, guys. A couple of days after Christmas, my brother and his girlfriend, my mother and father, were all struck with COVID. They were fine for a few days. For my brother, his only symptoms were sinus issues. On January 8th, my mother called her doctor to see about getting some meds to help with the symptoms. He was a complete ass to her and would not even prescribe cough syrup. On Sunday, my mother was sent to the ER by ambulance where she sat in a room for 48 hours. On Tuesday, she was moved to the COVID ICU. My dad would soon follow her as well. They both had pneumonia. They both were vaccinated. Today I got a call no one wants to hear. My father calling in tears to tell me it was only a matter of time for my mom. I miss her. I want to hug her. I wish I had spoken with her one last time. Now I will not get that chance. I love you. and A world full mom. I will miss you dearly. Sorry, guys. Um, most of you, if not all of you, know Lee. And she lost her mother to COVID today. Um, her father is still sick with COVID, um, but he is on the mend. And um, it's hard when it hits close to home. Yeah. And... Um, a lot of people we know are coming down with it. Um, Lori's entire family has it. My sister now has it. And unfortunately, Lee lost her mother today. So if everybody can uh, say thoughts and prayers for Lee and her family, I would greatly appreciate that. And um, just keep everybody that is sick in your thoughts and prayers with that being said uh, hugs kisses we love you all our thoughts go out to anybody who is ill who is knows anybody who is ill or who has lost anybody to this horrible horrible disease we'll see you guys tomorrow bye